up youtube it's your boy dc here as you can see i'm actually back home for once i'm not in a hotel which is nice and today we're going to be doing a tier list of the monster cat eps and lps of 2022 um of course there's no silk because i don't listen to silk so it's just the uncaged and instinct eps um and, which is cool because there's exactly 22 for the year 2022 only three of those are lps though so we had a lot more eps this year but yeah we're just gonna get right into it you know the past couple years i did rankings of these things but I felt like doing a tier list this time. It's the first one with the face cam as well, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we're starting off with a banger already. We got Agony District by Boss Fight. Now, if you're a fan of Boss Fight, you're definitely going to love this. I mean, that can apply to any of these. You know, if you're a fan of the artist, you're probably going to like it more than just the casual, like, EDM or Monster Cat fan. But honestly, Boss Fight's grown on me a lot this year, and I like most of his stuff. I wouldn't say they're all hits on this EP, but he's definitely got some great ones like Warp and Grit. So I'm going to have to throw it right in A. Next up, we got the And Friends EP by Cloud Nun. I normally just call it Cloud Nun and Friends EP. Um, you know, his style of music, although some of them are hits for me, you know, most of them just aren't my style. Like, it's a lot of down tempo, a lot of chill out stuff. And honestly, I just don't really find much excitement out of it. It does have a couple really good ones like Nocturnal and um, Tarantino. I like all the lyrical references to Tarantino's movies. You know, if you know, you know. But... Honestly, it's not the greatest. I know it's really popular. I'm gonna have to throw in a B tier for me. Next up, we got the B times U EP. Um, this is just a really cool concept in general. You know, Bishu had help from his Twitch chat to make these five songs, and the fact that it was actually signed to the label is really cool. Um, it's got a couple really good standouts like Autumn Leaves and Cage. Those are probably my top two on it. And then it's got What You Gonna Do. There's another house song I can't remember the name. And then there's Astro, which is just a really short DMB track. So. Honestly, it's a kind of a mixed bag, but it's a really cool concept. I'm going to have to give it a B tier as well. Next is Clouds in My Basement, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's from uh, Hello World. He had a nice little stint back in August, I think. And he just released an acoustic, which I have yet to hear, but I'm probably not going to like that. You know me. But yeah, this one, honestly, it's really creative. I'll give it that. It's a pretty unique sound design coming from him with the blocky sound and stuff like that. But it's another one that just didn't really hit for me. And I'd put it even below the And Friends EP. It's just, not, it's just not my thing, really. Next, we got our first Bass House EP of the year. Uh, this was Dusty Cloud's Come With Me. And the lead single off of this, the collab he did with Cage, uh, by far his best on this EP. Ignore Them, I love that track. Uh, and then the other three, they kind of blend together a little bit. You know, they use a lot of the same sounds and samples, so kind of blends together. But if you're a fan of Bass House, you'll probably like it a lot. And it was decent, so I'm going to give it a B tier as well. And then next we got Dichotomy by Gigi McGree. Now, it's EPs like this make me think, like, what is Monster Cat doing signing these days? Like, this year especially, there's been, like, a lot of weird, not even, like, EDM tracks out there. You know, you got, like, a lot of pop, a lot of rock. And I'm fine with some of those, but, you know, I come to Monster Cat to listen to electronic music by, like, unknown artists and stuff like that. So this is just a weird signing to me. All that being said, I actually really like Gigi McGree's vocals on most of the tracks. I think she's got a great voice. Um, some of the songs are kind of weird, though. It's a lot of, like, rock electronic stuff blended together. And some lyrics are pretty bad. But, you know, it was it was interesting. I wouldn't mind if she doesn't come back. I also wouldn't mind if she did. So it's just kind of middle of the road for me. <laughs> and then next we have the greatest LP to ever touch Monster Cat. It is ELE by slushy it's going straight to s tier i might have to make a no i'm just kidding um yeah this is hot garbage this might be the worst album in monster cats history um it's pretty good for the memes for a little bit but a lot of the tracks are just really bad even it's even hard to enjoy some of them ironically which is not a good sign um i might actually have to give this f tier because i barely got like any enjoyment out of any of the tracks here the fact that he included All I Need, which doesn't fit the album's like theming or tone at all. In fact, the whole album is just a mess when it comes to theming. Like It's supposed to be an extinction level event, you know? It has an intro that like precludes that, but like none of it, none of it's coherent together. It's just a bunch of really bad trap and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to have to give it F tier. Next, we got Existentia by Slippy. This just came out in November, pretty fresh. And I've actually listened to it a few more times since I ranked it in that uh, monthly ranking. And I got to say, it's been growing on me a ton. All the tracks here, even Tonight, you know, the rhythm, color-based kind of thing that was really weird. 
even that's grown on me. So this is this has been really enjoyable lately. And I'm going to throw it right next to Boss Fight, another banger AP in the A tier. Next, we got Godspeed by Godlands. Um, honestly, it's a fresh take on some trap, you know, and the label's been lacking trap for a while. I feel like it's been years since, like, trap dominated with, you know, Rogue back then. I'm blanking on some other names, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so it had four tracks. It had Tell Me with Tosoki, which is by far the best. That's a banger, super replayable. It also had... Uh, Godspeed, the title track, that was all right. It was kind of weird, you know, the vocal chops are pretty weird. And then it had All Night and Scumbag, and those just hit really hard. They're bangers. Um, so I would say it's three out of four tracks I would, that I would come back to pretty often. Um, it's going up there in the A tier as well. Next we got in, not Industrial Strain. See, this is the cover art for Industrial Strain. And that's just what I think of because it was a weird release schedule for this EP. Like all four tracks just came out as singles basically. So it wasn't like grouped together at once, you know, but it's actually the higher ground part one EP. I guess we're getting higher ground part two next year. So we'll see how that is. But as far as this EP goes, four tracks, what do we have? We had Take Me Away, which is a DMB track. I actually like that more than most people. And then we had the mobile one collab i know a lot of people say like that's bad because of the collab you know but as a track it's actually been growing on me it's kind of a nice chill vibe and then we had see i can't even remember the third track right now i'm blanking but the fourth one uh this cover art industrial strain that's an absolute banger so honestly it's a better ep than most people would give it credit for you know it's something different than butterfly effect thank god so honestly i would give you a b coven good job next we got I Am 25, easily the best album this year. I mean, there was only three. Kind of really easy to choose. Um, I Am 25 by Infected Mushroom. You know, it's uh, Psytrance, I would say, is a very acquired taste. Luckily for me, it's grown on me a ton this year. And of course, this album had the lead single, A Cookie From Space, which is arguably one of the best songs of the year. I don't know if I would give it S tier since it's such a niche genre to listen to. It's like all Psytrance. There's some other like electronic stuff in here. But it has at least like three really good, like probably 10 out of 10 songs on it. So I'll probably give it an A tier. Um, yeah, I'll just give it top of A. Honestly, the order of these don't really matter right now. I might rearrange it at the end, but we'll see. Next, we got another November EP, Eula's Journey to Ascendance. Now, I said in that monthly ranking that a lot of these songs kind of sound the same. It's kind of on the verge of like silk territory, you know, with the progressive house and stuff. But it's honestly really pretty. And there's a couple good tracks on here, you know. It's kind of hard to remember the names right now. I'm just kind of blanking, I guess. But overall, pretty decent. I'll give it a B tier. Next, we got the first remix package here last summer. This came out literally like a year and a half after the single came out. So I feel like everyone forgot about it. And I don't know why there's four tracks for last summer. None of them are even that good. I mean, I don't know if any are so terrible. I guess they're just kind of forgettable, honestly. So I'm going to give it D tier. Next, we got Papa Khan's Lost EP. Now, his first couple lead singles to this, I wasn't really a fan of. But then the final three that came out, so the Get To You single, that's the best to hear. And then the two tracks that came when the whole EP dropped, I like both of those. So I'd say this is a three out of five in terms of hits for me. And I'd say that's good enough to get B tier as well. Next, we got Paranoid Optimist by Silent Child. Another one of those artists that just seems to come and go on monster cat just drops a few singles then an ep and then dips and honestly i'm not too sad about that just like with gg mcgree this one doesn't really feel like monster cat to me it just feels kind of more like mainstream pop which is kind of the vibe he went for and none of the songs are that great honestly none of them are that terrible either so it's just kind of middle of the road i'll give it c tier next we got remises b's space boy now remises b has a huge fan base his uh, style of dmb is very enjoyable for most Honestly, for me, he's kind of hit or miss, but I got to respect this EP. It's got like seven or eight tracks on it, I believe. Um, and they're all high quality, especially production wise. You know, they're not all my favorite. They're not like all my thing, but I got to respect it. And this is an A tier. Next, we have our second Bass House EP of the year. This one's by Cage. And I got to say, I definitely enjoy this more than Dusty Clouds, and especially lately, I've listened to this a ton in the car, and all the tracks seem to be growing on me a ton. I don't know if it's good enough to get S tier, but it's definitely A tier. I'll put it right above the uh, Dusty Cloud one. I feel like this EP 
might be better than Cage's first one in, uh, I think it came out in 2020, the uh, the Grave EP. Yeah, I just feel like he's been more creative, kind of branching out. He's definitely got a signature sound design. If you love it, you love it. If you hate it, you hate it. But for me, I'm going to give it A tier. Next, we've got our final LP of the year, the X Saga. Came out way back in either February, March, or April. See, I can't remember. It's all blending together. But this is just a remix package of a bunch of Muzz songs and... Honestly, I don't think a single remix is better than an original song here. I do kind of like the Children of Hell X and the Catharsis X, but other than that, I don't think there's any good remixes here. It's not quite the level of Slushy Bad, but it's pretty bad, so I'll throw it next to the other remix EP. And next we got Waiting for Love and Waiting for Love the Remixes by Arm & Hammer. Now, honestly, both of these are kind of middle of the road for me. I have, I'm not really a fan of the melodic dubstep this duo makes. Honestly, the original one would probably go to C tier. And I might put the remix package right above it. See, it's not something I would come back to, but I appreciate how the other artists were able to switch up the original tracks a bit, make them a bit more fun to listen to, you know, add a little bit of creative flair in there. So yeah, they're both C tier, not something I would come back to other than maybe the Cranked Out remix. I love that one. Next up, we got the Where You Are Deluxe EP by Throttle. Now, back in 2019, I was definitely a huge fan of Throttle. Loved his Where You Are EP, especially in Rocket League. And I know that Rocket League players, even today, still love it. So this felt more like for Rocket League, the Monster Cat. So that's a great partnership. But I just feel like this coming out three years later um, just kind of lost some of its hype, you know? And I feel like Throttle's been riding out this Where You Are train for too long. I just want him to make new music. I can't deny that some of these remixes, some of these VIPs, I mean are pretty good actually, but I just want Throttle to expand past this whole EP. It's been too long, just make some new stuff. But for what it is, it's pretty good. You know what, I'm gonna have to give it A tier. And finally, we have Leo Trix's Wild Time EP. This is probably the weirdest one on this whole list. Um, just kind of this modern dubstep thing, really grainy, really like, I don't even know how to describe it, man. It's just, it's so weird. I can't even think of what to say. Like. If you're a fan of it, cool, good for you. For me, I'm not really a fan of it. You know, I appreciate the creativity, but it's just not my thing. So, honestly, it's probably a low C tier because it's probably more bearable. Like, I could probably get through these four tracks more than these. At least they're pretty unique. So, yeah, there you have it. This is the 2022 Monster Cat EP and LP tier list. As you can see, no S tier, so not that great of a year when it comes to this. We only had one F tier. Sorry, Slushy. Had a few remix packages. The most are just kind of meh or pretty good. You know, no like standout ones, unfortunately. Hopefully next year's better. But yeah, that's about it. Let me know what your list would be down below. Also, announcement. I just made the first part of the 2022 Monster Cat Awards Google form. So go check the pinned comment, the description. Go fill that out. It'll be open probably till my next video or like a week or two. We'll just see how it goes because then once I narrow down that list, we'll get to the part two form and then we'll eventually make the video. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.